Hi guys, this is Shani, and as you were seeing here, this is my March Love Relievers video. So, for those of you who haven't heard what a Love Olive video is, these are the products that I've really liked over the month of March, or really disliked. So, let's get discussing. Okay, I'm going to start with my dislikes, because I actually have a few more likes this month, which is really good. Okay, my first dislike is this Summer Tan. This was a product I got in... This is my Lust Habit box um, last month. And this is the Dark Action Self Tan. I I've tanned before. I you know, I've, I do tanning things like that. So I exfoliate. I know all the right things to do, um, moisturising, etc. This stuff though, it just applies, especially on me, really streaky and it just uneven colour. Like you know, I rub it in, like do all the right things, like I said, and then it just applies really funny. So. Whether I'm just stupid and can't work this particular tan, I'm not sure, but I'm really disliking this, so that's in the leave-its. Um, another leave-it is this, I'm going to say it wrong, Herb, Herbertino Gianni Glam Hair um, Back Comb in a Bottle Hairspray. This is a brand that you can get at Woolies and Coles here in Australia. Um, you know, just a hairspray, but I just find it leaves like a film on my hair. Um, I've used other hairsprays before and I don't have a problem. This makes my hair feel slightly oily. I can, you know, wash my hair that day, blow dry, all that stuff style, put some of this in it and it still feels oily. So I'm not sure if it's something in the formula or if it's not agreeing with my hair type, but I'm not liking that. Another one, another hair product. I'm having a bit of a hair thing. Um, is this Basty dry shampoo and tropical. As you would tell, I've got red hair, and no matter how I could, pop you up, I could be holding this thing, you know, 20 centimeters away from me. Um, it's supposed to be held. Oh, I could hold this like, you know, arm's length away from me, and it leaves my hair with a grey cast. If I apply, obviously if I apply it closer, it's a white cast, and with red hair, it ends up turning my hair pink once I brush it out and stuff. So I'm not really liking that. They do have a red one though and um, it's only available in the UK so some of my friends over there are being real sweethearts and are looking for those for me. So that's someone and sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. It's raining and the dog is snoring right now so you know what can you do. Um, let's see what next. This one um, kind of hurt. This is the Illamasqua, um Light Liquid Foundation in LF21. I got this when Elamasca had their sale. Um, it's the right shade and everything. Um, luckily, I managed to work that out. And it is a light foundation, but it just applies really uneven on my skin tone. I use primer and all that stuff, and it just applies really uneven. And the wear time is terrible on it. Like, normally, I can go a whole eight hour shift at work with any of my other foundations. That includes drugstore and high end. And yeah, this was especially on um, just slides off my face, especially around the um, nose area and the cheeks um, and it shows everything through. This to me reminds me more of like a tinted moisturiser than an actual foundation and it wasn't really cheap, it was about 30 bucks so that's a bit disappointing. Next up I have an eyeshadow, this is from um, Bad Bitch Cosmetics this is in shade Rue, it's this nice pink colour um, this colour just, it doesn't blend, um, you can try and blend into anything and it just fades to nothing. It's when you swatch it on like the back of your hand or something, it's very pigmented, very pigmented. When you try and pair it with another eyeshadow, not so much. So that's in my levers for the month. Next is this Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara. This is a sample. Um, I don't like this, this actually really badly clumps my lashes together so I can use it. And my lashes just look like I've smush them all together, it looks terrible, it dry, it takes forever to dry, it just isn't nice to work with. Um, and the last thing is this Revlon um, brow gel. Obviously being redhead I'm trying to find the perfect red to match for my eyebrows. I've obviously got dark eyebrows and I didn't want to use my um, brown one, I've got my Sigma um, eyebrow kit because I've, I'm pretty much running out of the clear now. Um, I didn't want to set the brown with the red otherwise you're going to get a bit of a muddy colour. So I bought this and it's just so watery. It just doesn't dry it. doesn't keep my brows in place. So 
not happy with that one. So that's my labels. Um, let's get on to the loves of the month. So let's get on to the loves. The first love of March is my MAC brush cleaner. I love this. It cleans my brushes really well and because it's got the alcohol content in it, it actually sterilizes them. It makes brush cleaning so easy. So that's my big one of my big loves of the month. Um next this is a bit random, my Marc Jacobs Lola perfume. I wear this every day. Um but it's really cute flare on the top and you know, a little atomizer. Love that. Uh, let's see, I've got a few favorites spread out everywhere. Um, loving my Makeup Forever Flash Palette, particularly this red and this light blue. I don't have any bases like those, and the yellows were very pigmented. Um, love to use this, and you can, you can use it for so many things, especially if I um, love using some of the brighter colors, especially if I'm doing colored brows, because they really cover really well. So that's that one. Um, loving my MUA lip pencil in red drama, perfect red color, fantastic. Staying with the liner type thing, I'm loving my Urban Decay 24/7 Glow On pencils. Um, particularly these are my favorite shades. Is my preversion. Use that almost every day on the waterline. And then I've also got Flipside and Main. This is a matte color which I just believe has become permanent. And flip side, which unfortunately has been discontinued, so I did. So I did buy another stack of these off BeautyBay.com, which I'll leave the link below. Prices are great, um, and they are actually an affiliated Urban Decay trader, so that's that. And they ship worldwide, so that's fantastic. Next up, this is a little one that wormed its way into my heart. This is the Milani Liquid Eye Liquid Like Eye Pencil, and this is in this. Brilliant blue colour. I'll try and do a little swatch for you. Look at that. How fantastic is that colour? This was actually gifted to me from my very good friend in America, um, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Um, thank you so much for giving me this. It's amazing. It applies like a butter. Um, and once it's on, it is on. Like, even taking makeup wipes, it's actually quite hard to get this colour off. Um, soft, it doesn't tug, and it makes for fantastic waterline colour as well. So I'm loving that. Next up, another MUA product. This is the MUA Matte Perfect Primer. Um, this is... doesn't actually say... Oh, this is 15ml. Uh, I think it cost me about £5 or something. It's about $10. Um, but it does, it really helps to mattify the skin. Um, so I've really been loving that. I've been reaching out for that quite a bit lately this last month. Um, as always, I think this is in most of my favourite videos, is my Lit Cosmetics glitter base. I can't get enough of it. I just use it for so many different things. Liner, glitter, you name it. I've used it for it probably. Um, love this stuff and it's so easy to remove. It's non-irritating on the eye. So I love that. The only thing I wish was different was that maybe it had like a little drop or something. Not this open hot gap sort of thing. But it's still just a fantastic product. And that glitter base, oh, what was that? That glitter base actually leads into my next favourite. I have here three different glitters. I'm loving glitter for the last month. I love glitter anyway. These are three I've actually reached for quite a few times. This is the Lit Mother Earth size 2 solid. As you can see, there's this beautiful greeny blue colour. Gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. This was um, one that was gifted to me in a shop I did. This is the NYX Glitter in Pink. And it's this pink, but it's got a beautiful green reflect on it, which is amazing. It looks beautiful in different looks. It really makes the colour pop. And the last glitter I've been reaching for a lot is by Mad Styles Cosmetic. And this is Ice Queen. This is gorgeous. It looks really quite an icy blue in here in the vial. But when you put it on the lid, oh, it's stunning. It's just is multicoloured. It looks like icicles. It just is a fantastic colour. It looks really small, but there is a ton of product and about I feel it will fill quite easily a three gram jar, no problem. Okay, we're nearly at the end, I promise. Um from Mac, I've been reaching for my stars and rockets colour really frequently. You can see there is this 
superb with a gorgeous duochrome. It looks multi fascinated look. It's a, a pink colour with like a darker purple duochrome. With a black base, you really this is a one colour look. You can just put a bit of black in the you know, blend it out in the outer crease and apply that all over the lid and get a really nice blended type look. Very versatile colour. Um, and the second to last item is my Sugar Peel Cosmetics Sweetheart Palette. I'm reaching for this quite a lot, particularly this lovely matte white. You can see they're very pigmented and also this green. I'm reaching for quite a lot. Now, I've heard this a few different ways. This is, this is Midori and I've heard this colour set a few different ways. Taco, Takeo. Not quite sure what's the right way for that one, but you can see there. Gorgeous colours, really pigmented. And the last but not least is a hair thing. I'm just gonna. And these are from um, and this is from an Etsy store called Tattooed Cuties, which I'll leave the link here below. And these, as I wear my hair in a buns lately, I've been trying to find different accessories. And look at these, these are glitter bows. This one I don't know how well I'll pick up, but this has got a beautiful iridescent glitter. And this is obviously a bright red glitter. And look at that, that's a fantastic holographic silver. They look fantastic. They look fantastic in the hair. They are stunning. They're really well made and they're really inexpensive. I think these were about $3 each. And the shipping, international shipping was very, very um, affordable and very um, good. So those are a really big thing. She's got so many different ones that I'm just going to have to go back and get some more because I just love them so much. Um, yes, so that was the March 2013 Love It's Leave It's. Um, what are your Love It's Leave It's for the month? Is there something that I've mentioned that you're thinking, mm, that didn't work for me or that really did work for me? Leave your comments below. Um, yeah. And oh, as always, the links to my blog, Twitter, Facebook are going to be here, as well as those links to Beauty Bay and to Tattered Cuties. Alright guys, I will talk to you all later. Bye.